Hello everyone. Welcome to GRE question of the day. Today we will discuss a question from one of the most fundamental concepts in GRE mathematics that is number properties. As you can see this is a multiple choice question with a single correct answer. In this question a and b are two integers such that ab is equal to minus 5 and also a minus b is always greater than 0. Next, we are asked to investigate which of the options 1, 2 and 3 hold true for all values of A and B. Before we proceed with the solution, I would like to request all of you to pause the video at this particular instant and try solving the question on your own. In case you couldn't do it, please do not lose hope since I am here to help you out. Before proceeding with the detailed solution, let us take a quick glance at the correct answer. As you can see, the correct option is option C, that is 1 and 2 only. That is, A greater than minus 1 and B is odd hold true for all values of A and B. So how did we arrive at this particular conclusion? As you can see, A and B are two integers such that their product is equal to minus 5. Now, there are only four possible combinations of A and B under which this condition, that is AB equals to minus 5, holds true. These K A solutions are when A equals to 5 and B equals to minus 1, or when A is equal to minus 5 and B is equal to 1, or when a is equal to 1 and p is equal to minus 5 or when a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 5. Next, we will check in which of these cases a minus b is also greater than 0. For case 1, we see a minus b is 5 minus of minus 1 that is 6 and hence a minus b is greater than 0. For second case a minus b is equals to minus 6 and hence it is less than 0. In case 3 a minus b is again 6 and hence it is greater than 0. In case 4 we see a minus b equals to minus 6 and hence it is less than 0. Thus we can eliminate cases 2 and 4 the, and we are left with cases 1 and 3 as the possible solution for these two conditions. Now we observe that in both case 1 and case 3 a is greater than 1 minus 1 and hence we can safely conclude that option 1 is always true. Next in both case 1 and 3 we see that b is always odd and hence option 2 is true as well. In case 1, we see the modulus of A is 5, but in case 3, the modulus is 1 and not 5, and hence option 3 is, does not hold for case 3. And hence, we conclude that only 1 and 2 are always true, and hence option C is the correct one. I hope you could follow the solution, but in case you couldn't, please pause the video at this instant and go through the type text here. I hope you enjoyed today's session. We will be back with more GRE question of the day videos. Keep working hard until then. Thank you and all the best.